121, let's go! Pikachu! Everyone's super friendly here. Yeah, Pokemon Go! 2020 was a year full of challenges, but Niantic fought well, with Pokemon Go still ruling the charts. In the year 2021, the game just took a nosedive. Lost players became profitless. Not at all. That impressive performance has continued, with 2021 representing a stellar year for the hit title. Pokemon Go generated a whopping $5 billion in lifetime revenue in five years. Unbelievably, Pokemon Go generated $641.6 million in 2021. It's best start to a year ever. Watch this video to learn how Niantic managed to pull this off by introducing incredible new features, marvelous in-game events, and a smashing GoFest 2021. Before we move ahead, unlock the subscribe button and complete this question in the comments below. How much time did you spend on the game? So hold tight for this ride. The new normal amid pandemic. In 2021, Pokemon Go continued to adapt and evolve, introducing new features and events to the game. Niantic permanently increased the distance you could be from the real-world locations of Pokestops and gyms and still interact with them. The new base limit was set at 80 meters, 262 feet, the distance Niantic introduced at the start of the pandemic. However, at the start of August, Niantic reverted the in-game interaction distance to 40 meters, 131 feet in the US and New Zealand. Zealand, much to the disappointment of fans who had appreciated the added accessibility benefits and COVID-19 safety the change offered. Therefore, Niantic made it back to 80 meters and promised its fans to stand by it. This move from Niantic was a positive sign that the company was willing to adapt to the needs of its players. This way, the game continued to promote physical activity and social interaction, encouraging players to get out and explore their local communities while playing the game. New Exploration Bonuses As COVID cases significantly decreased in the US and New Zealand, with COVID-19 almost becoming non-existent, Niantic made some changes at the end of July 2021, after Pokemon Go Fest 2021 wrapped. It rolled out those updates to other territories too, when it was safe to do so. Many of the changes seem designed to encourage Pokemon Go players to go get out and about, and to restore the game's in-person events like EX raids. Here's what was changed. Players received up to two free raid passes per day from spinning gym photo discs, benefited from increased incense effectiveness while moving, were guaranteed gifts when spinning Pokestops so long as they had not reached their maximum gift inventory, received 10x bonus XP from spinning a Pokestop for the first time. Believe it or not, there have been 40-plus major events this year in Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go held several in-game events throughout the year, including the introduction of the Season of Discovery, which added new Pokemon and features to the game every three months. Fifth Anniversary the fifth anniversary was the fifth event to celebrate the anniversary of Pokemon Go. Pokemon Spotlight Hours featuring Bulbasaur and Charmander were available during this event. Flying Pikachu, Sky Mechanic, and extra Pokedexes were released. Special discount offers were given to players for in-game purchases. Holiday Events the Pokemon Go Holidays event returned in 2021. Trainers worldwide enjoyed the festivities of the holiday. These included Bergmite's Pokemon Go debut, costumed Pokemon, event-exclusive field research, winter-themed avatar items, and a bonanza of bonuses. Collection Challenge a collection challenge focused on trading with your friends was held in December 2021. Players needed to trade for the following Pokemon to complete this challenge. Swinub, Snowrunt, Sfeel, doesn't need to be costumed, Snova, Vanillite, Cubchu, doesn't need to be costumed. Community Days Different community days were organized throughout the year, one every month. The purpose was to encourage players to meet up in the real world and explore together. It was as simple and joyous as getting some fresh air with your local community while enjoying exclusive in-game bonuses. New Features In addition, the game introduced several new features to improve the player experience, such as the ability to customize the in-game music, improved AR features, and a redesigned home screen. Level Cap Increase 
One of the most significant additions was the introduction of the level cap increase, which allowed players to level up beyond level 40 and unlock new rewards and features. The game also saw the release of new Pokémon from the Kalos region, which was introduced in the sixth generation of the Pokémon franchise. This included popular Pokémon like Chespin, Fennekin, and Froki. Gifts Exchange being together is the best gift of all, and players were able to save a little bit of this feeling of togetherness with gifts from their friends. Postcard Buck The Postcard Buck was launched. Ever wanted to save memories from locations that you or your friends visited? This feature allowed players to pin postcards to their Postcard Buck. Holiday Cup what better way is there to celebrate a victory than with a Holiday Cup? Well, the Holiday Cup feature was introduced in the Go Battle League to encourage players to play more and win. GoFest 2021 The game also hosted the Pokémon GoFest 2021, which was held as a hybrid event, allowing players to participate in person or virtually from their homes. You will be jazzed to hear the details. Ticket prices were reduced from USD $14.99 to $5. Google Play was the official event sponsor. Pokemon Go Fest 2021 took place over two days, with each day providing a unique experience. On day one, hourly habitats were back with frequent appearances of Pokemon. These habitats included jungles, desert mountains, ocean beaches, and caves. Raids featured Pokémon such as Hitmontop, Kranidos, and Dano, plus Galarian Ponyta and Galarian Zigzagoon wearing special costumes. Pokémon related to music, such as Chimcheko, Cricketot, Audino, and a special costumed Pikachu appeared in the wild throughout the day. Not only that, Pokémon Go Fest had a free event shirt avatar item made available. On day two, all trainers enjoyed Sunday's gameplay focused on raids, and some of the favorites returned for this epic celebration. The Print at Home kit also made a return for this year for trainers around the world. It was a true musical summer, as suggested by the game developer. Summing up, the latest milestone for Pokemon Go means the title has generated $1 billion on average each year. How cool. Yet, just five years later, countless naysayers reflect that Pokemon Go isn't all that great. However, even a quick look at the current Pokemon Go usage statistics is enough to prove them wrong. It remains the clear leader in the geolocation AR category globally, picking up 641.6 million in the first half of 2021. That puts it above titles such as Dragon Quest Walk from Square Enix which has accumulated $261 million so far this year, and Jurassic World Alive from Ludia. Overall, 2021 was another successful year for Pokemon Go, with the game continuing to innovate and engage players around the world. Share your greatest achievements in the comment section below. Now, we are nearly at the end of the video, so I will ask, do you love Halloween? If so, here's a little preview of the upcoming video. Unlocked the Mysterious Masks Special Research Tasks, bonuses for catching, hatching, and transferring, and much more spooky stuff. You will see it all in the next video. Thanks for watching.